Mr. Chairman, Mr. Secretary General, Dr. Hamadoun Touré, elected officials, Mr. Brahim Asanu, Director of BDT, Honorable Ministers, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Let me first thank the United Arab Emirates for their warm welcome and the excellence of the organization of this meeting. I, could tell, I would also like to thank ITUD for giving us the opportunity to express our views. Alcatel Lucent is a global leader in broadband networks, wireless and wireless, and we value our rich relationship and collaboration with ITU. ITU sets an example to other institutional organizations in its ability to build trust, trusting and fruitful partnerships with the private sector. The past few years, have witnessed an increase in awareness about broadband and its impact on development and economic growth. While great progress has been achieved in increased connectivity in developing nations, there is still urgency to address coverage as well as affordability. For millions of people, broadband is still unaffordable in many countries, costing sometimes more than their monthly income. And in Africa, there is still only 16% of people using internet, compared to 77% in the developed world. The combination of the rapid increase of connected devices, of video and of cloud, has led to an explosion of data traffic, driving the need of huge increase of investments in efficient and large bandwidth networks. Alcatel Lucent estimates that mobile data traffic will increase by a factor of 25 between 2011 and 2017. Developing countries will follow a similar pattern as a wave of growth in digital and media content is expected as smartphone ownership explodes and as users become more sophisticated in their use of mobile applications. New investment sources and models are needed to be found to respond to this exploding bandwidth demand and the continued need for deployments in underserved geographic zones. These models need to combine a balanced return for all involved stakeholders together with a favorable environment for competition. We would at Alcatel Lucent recommend ITUD play a key role in the next years in continuing to help shape how the industry develops and in addressing these challenges by outlining policies and guidelines for first, the supply side, continue and foster the rollout of efficient broadband networks, promote innovative investment and new financing models between the private and the public sector, in particular for broadband coverage and affordability in developing countries. The purpose is to allow to foster co-investment models, especially on the passive infrastructure, and attract long-term infrastructure funds. Encourage countries to develop well-thought-out national broadband plans, including E and M government strategies. Accelerate the adoption of more spectrum for mobile broadband and ensure countries achieve the digital switchover deadlines in a harmonized way. Develop policies to push for new technology adoption such as 4G, IP, next generation networks and cloud platforms. Advocate that broadband and the ICT have a fundamental role to play in the UN Sustainable Development Goals currently being shaped to set the development agenda between 2015 and 2030. Broadband indicators should be inserted into the SDGs. We also believe the ITU could have a greater role to play by growing its engagement on the demand side for broadband, in cooperation with other entities. More efforts need to focus on unleashing the smart use of broadband to help people use services in ways that will significantly improve their lives. ITUD could have a positive impact in continuing its work to encourage E and M government strategies, the development of policies and technology choices such as cloud enablement platforms. The recent signature of an agreement between ITU and WHO to collaborate on M Health for non-communicable diseases is a significant step and a model we feel may need to be replicated with other international organizations such as for M Learning with UNESCO for instance. It sets an example as to the cross-sector engagement that is necessary for e-health and m-health to scale and accelerate. The recently launched empowering initiative is a further step in the right direction. ITUD should work in coordination with existing bodies promoting m-services for empowerment and complement existing actions. Last but not least, 
ITUD could help raise awareness on broadband's impact on climate change. Recent reports, such as the one provided by Jesse, show that ICT could reduce by 16% the total volume of greenhouse gas emissions. Awareness on this significant figure is very low, and yet climate change is a key priority uh, and challenge faced by our world. A precondition for such environmental benefits is, of course, the greater deployment of broadband communication technologies, which are the essential catalyst for these ICT-enabling solutions. These are, in our view, some of the most urgent challenges that ITU, and especially ITUD, are best placed to address. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.